heard this conversation going on. Should Russell Westbrook deserve some MVP consideration? You know, the brother did average a triple-double for the second consecutive season. Never been done before in NBA history. Two seasons in a row averaging a triple-double. You know, you know. here's my thing with Russell Westbrook. Um, no, he's not the MVP this year. You guys can't tell me a guy is an MVP and his team was competing to make it in the playoffs the last week of the season. I'm, I'm sorry. And Russ has too much talent on his team. Heck, he was less concerned about making the playoffs last year when it was him and other role players. You go out this summer and add a Hall of Famer in Carmelo and a what a, a perennial all-star in Paul George, maybe a Hall of Famer one day, and you guys are struggling to make the postseason. You got teams like the Pelicans, led by one Anthony Davis, hadn't had DeMarcus Cousins the whole second half of the season. The Utah Jazz, led by a rookie, and salute to Donovan Mitchell, a fantastic basketball player, but... They shouldn't be ahead of the Thunder on just talent alone. Heck, I could make the case that Portland shouldn't be games ahead of the, the Thunder. You got the MVP and Russ, PG, Adams, and Melo. The Thunder should at worst be number three. And y'all want me to give him MVP, MVP consideration because he's a stat stuffer? Listen, let's break down. Let's have this real conversation about Russell Westbrook. I want to have it right now. And please debate me in the comment section below. Russell Westbrook is the second most phenomenal athlete I've ever seen in professional sports, right behind LeBron James. If LeBron never exists, we revere Russell Westbrook in a high regard. Russell Westbrook is cut from that same cloth as Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. We see one of these guys once every eight to ten years, and, and he's cut from that same cloth. That's why you hear guys like Mike and Russ say, uh, Mike and, and, excuse me, and Kobe say Russ is their favorite player. He's cut from their same type of cloth. The problem is Russ ain't 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, and to play the way Russ plays, you need to be 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, to be a person that can lead a team to championships. Russ's mentality is stat stuffing. And he takes that to a whole nother level than Mike and Kobe ever did. Because Mike and Kobe want to stat stuff their points. Russ wants to stat stuff everything. But here's the thing. I'm not going to disrespect that brother because... I can't get mad at him because he has the body, the physical well-being to do this night in and night out. Most guys can't do this, what he does night in and night out. I'm not knocking him for that. I just wish Russ could find the balance of wanting to get your stats. I'm fine with that. And not being selfish. Everyone in the league knows he's selfish. I've talked to NBA players around the league and they tell me Russell Westbrook is selfish. Kevin Durant did not want to go to Golden State. I don't know if people believe that or not. He wanted to stay in Oklahoma City. He felt like he had to leave Oklahoma because he had talked to the coaching staff at that time, Scott Brooks, right? He had talked to the coaching staff about getting on the Russ. These late game situations, Kevin Durant's one of the best three-point shooters we've all time, one of the most efficient shooters we've ever seen, ever, right? And Kevin Durant felt as if though it's not his job to be telling Russ pass the ball with 12 seconds to go. Why in the heck is Russ a notoriously bad three-point shooter, even though he, he actually makes a lot of them in the clutch? Why is he shooting threes when I got a guy named Kevin Durant on my team, and at one point I had a guy named James Harden on my team? Why is Russ shooting in of the game three-pointers? Kevin Durant was tired of it. Russ is maybe the most difficult guy to play with. Think about it. Let's put this in perspective, right? Carmelo Anthony has created this thing when he gets a rebound. He says, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I got it. You ever heard Melo on a rebound? Especially when he was in New York. Get the fuck out of here. I got it. I'm not going to say Melo was 100% scared of Russell Westbrook, but the whole league is scared of Russ. Just be honest with you. This dude is incredibly intelligent, incredibly aggressive, and he ain't scared of anybody. Like we said in the streets, Russ ain't no hope. Period. And he's not scared of anyone in this league. Melo might be a little scared of Russ. I'm watching Russ go over the back of Carmelo Anthony for a rebound. PG don't even talk anymore. Russ at All-Star Weekend literally said, PG ain't going nowhere. He just made the decision for him. How you make a, a, man, a decision for a grown man's free agency? Just said he ain't going nowhere. Well, that's dead. 
He's a control freak, man. He's selfish. And I can't get mad at Russ because his selfishness has helped him get to this spot. Because he that as hard as he is on his teammates, he's that damn hard on himself. You can tell physically. He's still at the rim, over the rim, above the rim, and he's about 30. Got nothing but respect for Russ. But for me to sit here and say he's an MVP this season, I'm laughing with one of my partners because we seen that Russ needed 16 rebounds against Memphis the last night of the season a few nights ago to get that triple-double for the season. And we're laughing because we, we both in our mind know there's no way in hell Russ doesn't get a triple-double. And he went out and got 20 rebounds, I believe. 19 assists, 20 rebounds, 6 points. I mean, listen, man. Phenomenal talent. And if Russ, I get why he could be mad. He's like, yo, why y'all mad at me? I give y'all a show every damn night. Every damn night I hit that court, I give y'all a show. And as a fan, you better be grateful and don't take this man for granted. He is spectacular. But I wish Rush would just take a step back. I wish he had. I'm be. I wish he had that black coach that wasn't afraid to get in his ass. I'm serious. It might be too late in his career now. He need a coach that's gonna get in his ass. Tell him no. I don't care if you want me to. I don't care if I get fired. You ain't taking that shot. That's what Russ needs. He needs somebody to get in his ass. You know. And I, I really wish Russ could just take a step back. Because he is a phenomenal talent. Exhale and be like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I should care more about others, you know, and, and really look at my career and see what's going on. One of my teammates, James Harden, having the most fun in his life. He's playing with another point guard who was ball dominant throughout his career and Chris Paul. And they're working it out. They're both willing to listen and work and listen, you know give a little bit to get Kevin Durant one of my other teammates he's winning championships right now you know he's playing on one of the most unselfish teams where everybody has a reason to be selfish but nobody is on that Warriors team he's figuring it out damn my, my teammate last year Victor Oladipo he's a higher seed than me right or well technically the Thunder are four but for the most part all year the Pacers were a higher seed than the, the, than the Thunder he looks like he's having the time of his life in, in, in Indiana. They're nowhere close to winning the championship. I just think Russ should consider these things. I don't have him on my MVP ballot, even though it's impressive that he is going to do that. He did that triple-double two years in a row. I don't. I couldn't vote for Russell Westbrook in my top three. He's not in my top five for MVP consideration. I'm sorry. I would go hard in one, obviously. Braun a far second. 3-4, I might go AD Damian Lillard, maybe. Um, That could, uh, yeah, I'd probably go there. Maybe Russ, 6, because that triple-double, 5-6, that triple-double is still impressive. But no higher than, than 5, for sure, for me. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!